what's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. Well, I God is with you, and this situation of yours is going to change. But this show is here to bring hope to the hopeless, to prove to you that there is a solution. Now, on the air with Bishop Joshua. The Showdown of Faith. A show of less talk and more power. Wake up, America, the spirit of the living God, the mighty God, the power of God is with you. You just need to call upon his name and today he's going to reveal himself in your life to bless you. There was a man, he was a kind of lost. He lost the direction, he did not know what to do, and this man... Yes, I'm talking about King David. He said once, I have here Psalm 121. He said, I lift up my eyes, my eyes to the hills, to the mountains. Let me do a close up here so that people can read as well at home. He said, I lift my eyes to the hills. From hence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He is the one that made heaven and earth, and He is the one that will take your case, change your life, and transform you. Together with me, I have today's program. Today's program, I have Nancy, and she's going to receive your name, your problems, to place inside of the holy oil. Also, we have all these counselors, people that are willing to talk to you right now. You know, Nancy, in this very moment, there are people that need just one word. Nobody answers the call, nobody calls back, but we are here for that. Yes, we have, as you mentioned, Bishop, we have a whole team of counselors that are just waiting to give you that one word. So whatever it is that you're going through, call the number right now. The number that you see on your screen is 1-888-332-4141. You'll get your prayer request written on a card like this and it will be placed in the holy oil. And of course, you have the counselors on standby ready to listen to you. Do you feel like no matter what you do or say, something is always out to get you? Well, you're not crazy. In fact, something is actually out to get you. The Bible mentions the unseen enemy who is searching for the opportunity to attack us. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, it says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. If we think our fight is between mankind alone, then we only have war amongst us. We become divided, we fight each other and completely miss the goal of where the root of the issue truly lies. What we can actually do is fight against these grudges, this bitterness, this illness, this misery, the suicidal thoughts. Whenever you get a sense of something dark happening in or around you, only God can give you the power to overcome all the evil forces that have risen around you. Physically, you cannot overcome this problem. It is impossible. In a few, I'm going to talk to uh, Dr. Saul. Hello, Bishop. 
Uh, in a few, uh, uh, thank you for joining me today once again. In a few, I want you to help me to review here what is a spiritual problem. Because many are battling with the spiritual problems and they do not know how to overcome it. Yes, Bishop. And you know, a spiritual problem, Bishop, is an is a evil that work inside of a pimp's body. So, nobody, only those who have a spiritual eyes will be able to identify the evil spirits that work in people's body. Because many people, they think, that's okay for me, because everybody closer to me, they have the same problem. My neighbor have the problem like I have, my brother, my mother. So they compare themselves to the others, but, the, the, the thing is, there is an evil spirit inside of them. Right, and we are going to review in a few what is an evil force. Stay over there alone by yourself. You cannot change this situation. Don't try on your own. Actually, you have tried, and now you feel powerless. We are going to help you just as we helped this lady, Miss Yolanda. She came to us, she had these problems we are talking about. Don't think it's a normal problem. It is a spiritual problem. You've tried nearly everything. Now is the time to see how strong prayers work. Well, I started suffering from migraine headaches at the age of uh, 22 years old. And as years went by, they just started getting worse. I would have to be laying down all day until the headache went away. And it sometimes it lasted for the whole day, sometimes for two days. And then as time went on, I started getting them like um, two times a week, two, three times a week. But it was so weird and strange because um, my head would start throbbing like at uh, like around three or four o'clock in the morning, and I would start, I would wake up with a very bad headache, and I couldn't go to work the next day, and then I would just be in bed all day with the drapes drawn in because I had to be in the dark. I went to the doctor and they gave me medication, but the medication the doctor told me was very expensive so and at that time I didn't have insurance so she would give me like samples of the medication that she she recommended for me to take things just kept getting worse there was point to where I couldn't go to family functions I couldn't eat and the next day for the next two days I would be weak because it would drain me it would drain your it drains your strength I just wanted to die my pain was so bad that, I mean, I just would, I wanted to die. I was tired of suffering from these headaches. When I started going to the church, it was an invitation that my sister-in-law, she started coming to the Universal Church. So then she invited me, and you should, are you still getting your headaches? And I would say, yes. And she goes, you should go to my church. You should go to the Universal Church. and. Um, They'll help you, and you, you're going to get healed if you go. When, uh, when I came to, to the Universal Church, it was all new to me because uh, I had never been to a church like that. And I came on a Friday, so that was even more new to me because I had never been to a church where they do deliverance prayers. I didn't even think that my migrant headache could be like a spiritual thing you know during the strong prayer the the spirit that was uh, causing my headaches manifested from that day on I, w I was delivered and using my faith drinking the water every day three times a day and by the time I knew it my headache was gone after I was delivered and um, the evil spirit came out of my body I heard about the Holy Spirit, and I would come to church as, as much as I could so that I could uh, know more. I wanted the Holy Spirit because I wanted um, His peace, His joy in my life. All my life I had suffered so much. 
Spirit. So I just wanted the Holy Spirit. I wanted to be able to to help others, let others know, you know, how wonderful it is to have the Holy Spirit. That Sunday, I received the Holy Spirit. And it was, it was amazing. I found the peace that I had been searching for, looking for all my life, and the joy. The Holy Spirit means everything for me, you know. I, I couldn't live without it. Today I'm I'm happy. I, you know, I'm glad. I'm happy that I still have the strength, the energy to work. You know, even though I'm 66 years old, you know, I I can help the church. I can help to evangelize without waking up with a headache or having it in the middle of the night. So I'm truly, truly blessed. If you are going through any problems, any spiritual problems, any problems in your life, come to the Universal Church. Seek the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the most precious treasure you could ever have. The Holy Spirit will give you peace and joy and help you to be strong, to handle any situation that you that will come upon you. You cannot live without, without the Holy Spirit. It doesn't matter how you are, what your pain, or what your suffering is. Jesus Christ is telling you now, speak out, I'm all ears. Let me go to the line, Dr. Saul, all the way from New York City, we have Miss uh, Monique. Hello? Oh, yes. Miss Monique, God bless you. Tell me, what is going on, the problems that you are facing? Well, I've been having nightmares in the apartment. I feel funny in here, like heavy. Um, you know, the kids always yelling, screaming, and it's just not, you know, healthy. It's not a healthy environment. It's not healthy living here. It's not happy. It's always noise outside. I live in a very bad neighborhood. I'm trying to move for years now since I've been here. And it seems like every time when I put in applications to move to another neighborhood building, it's like nothing don't go through for me. Anything that I try to do within my life, nothing, it never goes through. It's always let me, a problem. Let me ask you something, Miss Monique. How long do you live in this house? I can't hear you said one more time. For how long do you live there in this place? Um, about nine to 10 years, 11. Nine, nine to 10 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on for a sec. Dr. Sol, uh, I heard you say once that wherever a person goes, if there is or there are evil spirit following a person, even if they move from one house to another, one state, one city, one country to another, this evil follows a person wherever he goes, right? Yes, Bishop, yes. Once this evil spirit, we, in the house of each doctor, we should tell the people, like, so the evil spirit took possession of that person. So whatever he goes, that evil spirit goes with them. They can move to, uh, to another country, another state, that if it's still to be there with that person. Okay, let me, possess that person. let me ask Miss Monique, uh, you said you have nightmares, bad dreams. What kind of dreams, nightmares you have? Um, just, you know, like, I don't know, maybe it's an evil or something like that. I'm not for sure, but sometimes I can remember, sometimes I don't. But the most recent one that I had was snake. Like, no, not snake, worms. It was worms. I had a dream about worms. And then after I had the dream about the worms, two days later, I seen a worm, like, crossing the street. Um, after I got to my apartment from seeing this worm, 
the uh, super of the building and the next door neighbor, they called management on me because my son, he had ADHD and because he couldn't get his way, he started screaming very loud, like the whole neighborhood, not just the block, but the whole neighborhood. Throughout the whole building heard him. So uh, they called the law on me, child protective services, but I didn't let anyone in. How old is your son? He's 10. 10. Uh, let me tell you about the snakes. Yes, you ask me if I ever heard. I heard about it a lot. I have seen people coming to church with the same problems. Because the snake, the serpent, was used by the devil to deceive the woman. That's why until today, Satan used this kind of witchcraft, rituals, yeah. And the people, uh, Dr. So, have these dreams like they are being followed by the snakes. The snakes yeah. are beating them, biting mm -hmm. them. So a person uh, feels so scared because it is real. Yes, Bishop. In another thing as well, perhaps such people had been put some uh, white or black powder in the door of her house. So at the moment when she come inside the house and need the spirit to storm with this person, don't allow her to have peace. These evils who attack her overnight, there is the evil spirit that comes for the, for the destruction. So it's inside the house. Okay. Because some such people has put in inside of their house. All right, Miss uh, Monique, I want you to hear what nightmare is all about. For some people, they are just having bad dreams, but not. Behind these bad dreams come the nightmares. Let us understand together. Listen, please. Uh, are you there? I'm here. Listen, please, what is nightmare in a spiritual point of view. What are nightmares? Nightmares are considered a sleeping disorder, which can occur on a regular basis. They provoke a feeling of imminent physical danger with a sensation of being trapped or suffocated. This feeling can cause a fear of sleeping, which can lead to sleep deprivation and the formation of other sleeping disorders and psychological conditions. Sleep loss can put you at a risk of high blood pressure, stroke, diabetes, and heart disease. Nightmares are extremely common and can affect as many as 80 to 90% of people at some point in their lives. Nightmares can begin as early as the age of three and are common in young children. From childhood to early adolescence, between five and 50% of children have nightmares. In comparison, up to 85% of adults report at least one nightmare within the past year. 8 to 29% report monthly nightmares, and 2 to 6% report weekly nightmares. Miss Monique. Mm, yes. Did you hear that? Mm, yeah, I hear it. Well, we are going to pray. I'm going to ask Dr. Saul right now to do the work of deliverance. Your, your son has also a spiritual problem. This ADHD is a kind of spiritual attack. That's why he screams so loud. As you said, the neighborhood can hear him. It's a spiritual problem. But when Dr. Saul says, get out, this evil that is upon your life, upon your son, will live your life. Dr. Saul is a... A pastor nowadays. He used to be a witch doctor together with his parents. Now he is a man of God and will do the work of deliverance. All right? Yes. Close your eyes, please. Dr. Saul. My Lord and my Father, in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, I'm asking to enter inside this house to clean this house, to remove this evil spirit of darkness that is inside this house. This evil spirit that has torment to make this woman to feel miserable. Holy Spirit, clean this house right now. 
and you in the spirit, in the name of Jesus, get out from this house. Get out from this family. My Lord, let your blessing to be inside this house. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Breathe now in and out. Breathe. Miss Monique, you are blessed. You and your children, your son. All right? Yes. I'm going to ask my team over there in New York City, the pastor to contact you, and we are going to continue the work of deliverance. You shall be free. You shall be helped by the power of God. All right? All right. Stay on the line for me, please. God bless you. Have a good one. You too. Bless you back. Amen. Right now, I want you to watch this testimony. Because uh, this lady also had spiritual problems, nightmares. If you do not sleep well, you sleep just a few hours during the night. You are more awakened than sleeping. You cannot sleep well. You take strong pills. You toss and you turn. And then you have nightmares, bad dreams. You need spiritual help. This Friday, we are going to have the Friday for deliverance. Tiffany is now a free woman. My name is Tiffany. I'm 41 years old. I suffered from depression for three years. Where I was had bad dreams. I couldn't get to sleep. It started when my children started to be rebelling, um, running away and missing their curfew. And then I had um, child services involved, telling me I wasn't a good parent, and my children kept running away. Doors in my home were slammed and closed. I would hear footsteps running up and down the stairs. I could not sleep. I wouldn't eat. Uh, I stopped working. Um, I would just stay to myself. I always felt like I was a bad parent. I was so, something was watching me. I would have terrible nightmares and I would hear things and noises in my home, in my windows. I put boards up in my window because I felt like there was something always watching. I'm always seeing the dark shadows and figures in my home. I thought I was losing my mind because when I speak to my mother all the time, and she said, oh, you're just crazy. You just need some sleep. You need to uh, take some pills and just sleep and just rest. And it wasn't helping, so I just stopped telling people. I would hear voices to tell me, uh, oh, look out the window, go outside of the window, like to try to kill myself. It wouldn't be to kill myself. And I would think like, no, this is not right. But I keep hearing it in my ears. The lowest point was where my daughter, uh, child services removed my daughter from the home because she kept running away and it, then that's when the voices and shadows started being more because now I was just me home alone. I found the church um, one day in December. I had just broke up with my boyfriend and I was feeling just lost. And I seen the pastor there evangelizing and he said, come, I will pray for you. He said that I was going to walk by. I said, no, 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 I'm fine, no, nothing. He said, no, come, 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 I need to pray. So he prayed for me and I came to the service. And once he did that, I started to feel so much lighter. When I woke up to my home, it just felt so much brighter and lighter. And then I, I, with my younger son, I started to say, come, let me take you to the park. We started to go out. And, and the thing was, I'm sorry. <laughs> my son, he said, Mommy, I like that you take me to the park now. I really like you. you. You go outside with me, you play with me. And that's when I knew that God was there and I needed to trust God. When I, when I, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't go to sleep right away. I would stay up and wake up 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, and couldn't get back to sleep. But once I started going to the church, the same day, Right after service, I went to sleep like a baby. <laughs> the, the moment I lay down, 
I was asleep, sound asleep. I didn't hear no noises, no, no shadows, no voices, nothing, nothing, nothing. I heard about the Holy Spirit from the pastor. And then I was baptized in the water. And that's when I began to know the Holy Spirit and, and feel him inside me that I have peace within myself. I pray for my family, and I used to smoke a lot, a lot, a lot, and but now I, I don't. I just put it away and just focus on my, my younger son now. If God wasn't with me, I really don't know. I probably would still be locked away in my room with the windows boarded, and child services would probably take away my son. And I don't know what I would be doing. I have peace. Now I can look at the water and not think about walking into it and not coming back. Now I just think about how beautiful uh, God's grace is. You think you are going to leave a message. <laughs> This is a joke. A pastor's going to answer me? No way. Let me show them. It's a live helpline. <laughs> Who is going to be willing to answer calls at this time? See right now, are real. You are reluctant to call. You know what? I'm going to call. Single day. Perhaps it's not like someone is really going to answer. To work, you never call. Hello, this is the Shirt on Faith. How may I assist you? My Lord and my Father, in the name of your Son Jesus, right now, I mean the Showdown of Faith helpline is filled with men and women of God ready to help and assist you. So I'm going to make a prayer right now for your family. Please close your eyes. Hi, this is the Showdown of Faith. How may I help you? When you call 1-888-332-4141, your name and prayer request will be written on a prayer card to be placed inside of the holy oil. The holy oil represents the presence of God. And when your name is submerged in the holy oil, the power of God will begin to work in your life. Call now to have your name and family member's name submerged in the holy oil. 1-888-332-4141. This is the exact prayer card where you're gonna get your prayer request put in and placed inside of the holy oil that you see right here. We have Justin who is praying for his love life, but not just his love life. He feels like his whole generation is cursed in their love life. Justin in Colorado, your prayer request for you and your family, your whole generation is going into the holy oil. We also have Ms. Ball. Her sister is on dialysis and her health is just declining. She needs an urgent prayer. She needs an urgent healing. Eleanor, we got your prayer request from Alabama and it's also going inside of the holy oil. We have Marcus. He says that he's struggling with an addiction to drugs and alcohol. He cannot quit. He feels like it is a curse upon his shoulders. Marcus, Marcus Collins, your prayer request is going inside of the holy oil as well. Everyone, whoever, whatever it is that you're going through, whatever problem you're facing, give us a call. Get your prayer request here inside of the holy oil. As you can see through the testimonies, lives are changing. So Lorna, your family and your financial life can be restored because your prayer has been heard and is going inside of the holy oil. We have another prayer request from Miss Angie. She says her family needs deliverance. There's a lot of financial problems, addiction, and separation. Miss Angie, who lives in Georgia, your prayer request has received, been received. Okay, so call up the number that you see on your screen, 1-888-332-4141. No matter what your problem is, let us help you. God can set you free. Are you tired of living a life of defeat? Humiliation? Misery? This situation can change once God's words become a reality in your life. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. God will not allow for you to like anything in your life once you make a vow with Him. Everything will work out for you. 
great doors will open in your life. Now, on the Showdown of Faith, a moment of prosperity. When you look for good, only bad come to you. You look for prosperity, only misery come to you. You are kind of desperate because you do not know what to do anymore. You are exhausted. Now, today is a day for you to pay another bill. Where does the money come from? You have no money to pay the bill. This is your last week in this house. They said that this week you have to be out. And you don't know where to go. You don't have a roof over upon your head to your family. You are think of living inside of a car, going to the shelter. Once again is happening. Well, the Lord wants to take you to the green pasture. The Lord is the shepherd. You are the sheep. And as the sheep, your father wants to take you to the green pasture. So right now, if you believe, you are going to sow a seed. A seed offering that to you empower your finances. This is the number to call and sow the seed. 1-888-691-2291. Sow a seed today based on Psalm 23. This Psalm 23 that says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord wants to prosper you in a way that you are going to say, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. God does not want you to live a life of want. Hey, if this word here is true, go ahead. Let me show the counselors once again. The people you see on your screen, they are trustworthy people. These people are servants of God. Every call is being recorded for our safety and yours as well. For security reasons, we record each and every call. Give us a call right now and sow the seed. There is no minimum, no maximum. Whether your seed is 100, 200, 1,000, or just 50, sow a seed and the Lord shall bless your life. shall receive my finances was very was bad <laughs> I can basic not even buy something for me I go to the store I see things that I would like to get and I could not afford to do it because I had to think about putting away for tomorrow which is the rent in light and to get the transportation to go to work. And the pastor said one day, who oh, have faith to sow a thousand dollars. And I got up and I went directly to the altar and I realized that I didn't have a thousand dollars. All I could do is look up to God and say, you will provide. In the following week, I receive the money and I went directly to the pastor. I put it in a envelope and I wanted to say, let's wait for the day that you could give it. I was so anxious just to give the money because it was such a blessing for me to see that God really provide. I put it on the altar. In two weeks time, someone came with what I did ask God that I wanted to do to show me if that was the business. And yes, that was it. I have my home business now. I sell jewels and lying. During the pandemic, I was selling. And after the pandemic is gone, I know I won't sell more because I have a lot of faith in God and I will continue sowing, sowing my seed because it really works to sow your seed. So now I can really do what I want. I could go to the store. I have my home, bank card, no more poverty. And I shall fight for more. This is not the end. I learned to be a fighter.
shall receive. Sow your seed today and reap the blessings of God in your life as it is written. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. To all the viewers of the Showdown of Faith on Living Faith, you have two different ways in which you can sow your seed. By calling us at 1-888-691-2291. Our assistants are ready to answer your call and guide you through the process of sowing your seed. By mail, send your check or money order under the name of the Universal Church to 7075 Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77074. Brenda doesn't accept the diagnosis of cancer that she received. She lives in California and is still waiting for the results, but she wants her prayer request placed into the holy oil so that she gets the results that she is praying for. We're with you, Miss Brenda, and we look forward to hearing your good news. We also have Shirley Phillips, who also wants a prayer for her healing. She said she's going through a lot of health problems and we're gonna keep you in prayer. We have a lady, her name is Love, and she would like prayer for her family and for her daughter. She wants to be united together with her daughter and not to be arguing all the time. We have Millicent. Millicent has been diagnosed with lung, colon, and liver cancer and needs a miracle from God. M Millicent, your miracle is on the way and your prayer request is inside of the holy oil. What is your prayer request? The number to call is 1-888-332-4141. The counselors are on standby. They're just waiting to hear from you. So that just like everybody else here, you can also get your prayer request placed inside of the holy oil. Robin, Robin has had a heart attack recently and wants a speedy recovery. Your speedy recovery is being prayed for as well. Send in your prayer request, give us a call, and get the answer that you've been waiting for. The spiritual treatment water is a solution you didn't know you needed. In this ministry, we have countless testimonies of people who use the spiritual treatment water along with their faith and have been set free from addictions. I had an addiction for 34 years that I couldn't kick. Addicts of what? Marijuana. I spent 500 to 700, close to 1,000 a week. Drinking the water, um, it changed my life. Do you miss marijuana? No, I don't Cravings? Crave no. Free? Free, totally free. Health problems. I had bruises all over my body. If I walk a lot, I couldn't breathe. I went to the to the ER. And they diagnosed me with uh, leukemia. I, I started drinking the blessed water because I couldn't leave the hospital. Today I am healed. I have no more cancer. Financial problems. I had forty-five thousand dollars in student loans, which this is how much? Forty-five thousand dollars. I kept praying with Bishop. I used the water as well. Uh, I even put some of the water on some of the, on my paper. My loans are totally has been discharged. When you use a spiritual treatment water along with your faith, there is no problem that God cannot solve. Now it's up to you. Take the first step towards your healing by calling 1-888-691-2291 to receive your very own spiritual treatment water. When you write me a letter, I keep all the letters here with me. Write me a letter. I don't burn, I don't shred, destroy these letters. I keep them with me and I always pray over this letter, send your letter. Let me show to you the address. 7075 Southwest Freeway, zip code 77074. Write me your prayer request, like your name, your problem. We are going to keep these letters here in the prayers. We don't disclose your address, your name, but we keep these letters here on the prayers. Send a letter and request this water. Right now, let us watch the testimony. This lady is all the way from Orlando, Florida. Pastor Joel spoke to her last week.
What is your name? My name is Iris Bowery. Miss Iris, yes. tell me what was happening to you when you arrived here today? After you used the water, what did God do for you? I, I, I was going through some issues with my eyes and when I go the other day and take a test, they say I have issues in my eyes and they gave me some glasses and I knew ones every year and I just got it. And I break the glasses up because I couldn't see out of them. I didn't like how they feel at all. And um, You broke the glasses? I, yes, and throw them away. But I did not like, and this, my eyes is, is not natural. This is a de, was a demonic attack. You arrived here today, you used the spiritual treatment. As I drank some. And then I start, as you said, worship God. I start worshiping God and I trust him because I know he's real. So I said, God, please help me, heal my eyes for me. And God heal me, I'm healed. How is your eyes now? My eyes is natural. I could not see no thing on the board to read. And when I look, I heard pop, pop, cracking, popping. Until now, it's, you know, I could hurt me. But now you, you can't see? No, I can't see. How many fingers I'm holding here? Four. And now? Three. And now? One. Hey Amen. You are healed. I am. Completely free. Stripes, because God is real. Hey Amen. This woman could not see. Her vision was impaired. She arrived here not being able to see, read the screen. After using the spiritual treatment, the prayer, you are free. And the worshiping was so anointed. God, oh hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Jesus healed her. He is the healer. She was healed by drinking this water. I'm going to bless this water and send one water to you. Let me go to the line. I have someone all the way from LA and needs spiritual help. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hello. Uh, what's your name? Geneve. Geneve. Okay. Yeah. You call you from Louisiana? Yes, sir. Okay, tell me, what is your problem, the situation you are facing? I've been, I've been facing with my foot problem, my leg problem, I got kidney problem, and uh, heart failure, and, and I'm a diabetic, and I have blood pressure, high blood pressure. Right, Nancy is writing down all these problems and we are going to place inside of the oil. Nancy, did you get it? Yep, I got all of the health concerns and definitely we're going to be placing them inside of the holy oil. All right, I am going to send to you this water. Over there in Louisiana, you are going to receive this water. I want you to drink this water, bath with this water, and you are going to call us back with a beautiful testimony because I prophesy the healing upon your body. No more sugar diabetes, no more foot pain, no more disease in your body. Be set free in Jesus' name. Say amen. Yes, man. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm going to send to you this water. Stay on the line. Monique is going to get your information, okay? Okay. okay. God bless you. Bye-bye. Uh, All those who feel like you need a spiritual water, you need to get rid from this disease you have, you give us a call right now. That is my number. 1-888-691-2291. This number is only for the water. 1-888-691-2291. Mary had the same problem, high blood pressure, but by drinking the water, Mary now is healthy. My name is Mary and I just come to give you the before and after of my life. Um, before my life was kind of messed up, I was going to the doctor, I had high blood pressure, I had high cholesterol, I had diabetes. I would sleep at night, but I would only sleep for maybe two or three hours. I was a very angry person. I was depressed. 
I worried a lot about what people said about me. So one morning I was lying in bed and I turned my television on and Bishop Bureau was on on Showdown of Faith. He asked to put your hand on his hand as he prayed. And I called him and we talked. So one morning I just decided I'm going. And at that time, they gave me the blessed water. As I went, I went back to the doctor. My blood pressure my, was normal. My cholesterol was normal. My diabetes was normal. I had a pain in my back that went all the way down my leg, and I was hopping. Since I've been going, I hadn't had that pain anymore. I sleep good at night. I have peace in my life. And I just want to thank the Universal Church and Bishop Beer for hooking me up with them. Perhaps you're wondering how you can get yourself a pack of the spiritual treatment water. You've seen all the testimonies and you want your testimony to be next. So here's how you can do it. You see all the counselors there, they're waiting for your phone call. You call the number that's on your screen. And when you sow your seed for one of our books of faith, we will send to you together with this book, a packet of the spiritual treatment water. The book that you see right now is the new birth. Perhaps you've heard so much about the new birth, but you don't know what the characteristics are of a person who has a new birth. You don't know what your conscience has to do with someone who has a new birth. All of the answers to these questions are here inside of this book. And together with your seed, we will send you the spiritual treatment water. You can sow your seed by calling up the number that's on your screen, 1-888-691-2291, or you can send in your money order or check. Please no cash in the post, mail it in. And there you go, as you see on the screen, you can mail it into the Universal Church and together with the book, you will get yourself the spiritual treatment water. The address to send it to is 7075 Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77074. Stay tuned because right now, Bishop Joshua is going to pray with you. Prayer is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. In life we have So much pain No, everything Is a blue sky Against the pain In your life There is we are going to pray right now. Here on Psalm 121, King David said in his prayer, I will lift up my eyes to the hills, from hence comes my help. The answer is, my help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He's the one that is going to help you right now. And I want you to come closer to your TV. And you are going to place your hand upon this psalm. Psalm 121. Your help will come from the Lord. Place your hand upon the Bible. Close your eyes. O oh God of the Bible. This is the most expected moment, the moment of the prayer, the moment to talk to you. This person has been crying day and night, night and day, without knowing what to do or where to go. Just like King David, this person looks up to the sky, to the sun, to the stars, to the mountain, to the ocean. All she needs is to find a way out. All she needs is to come out of this situation. 
And yes, Lord, we pray right now. Rescue this person. Take this person out of this miserable life. And come to give to this person peace. A new life that comes from you. Bless all the viewers. Those who called, sold their seed. You are the shepherd. Do not let your sheep to be in want. Bless the United States of America. Or whatever country this person is watching us. Receive peace, my friends. Receive peace. He found the help from heaven and from the earth. The maker. And the maker of heaven and the earth makes a way out for you and gives you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Listen, if this word here is real, the Lord is your keeper, your shade, your protector, your provider. Breathe now in and out. Nancy, we are finished now the showdown of faith, but uh, the helpline, the seed number, will still be available. That's right, Bishop Joshua. The show has come to an end, but the helpline hasn't come to an end and never does. So feel free to keep on calling now. The number is on your screen. You can call up whether it's to leave your prayer request or to sow your seed. The counsellors are on standby just waiting to hear from you. one 691 2291. Thank you very much for watching us. Tell a friend of yours about us. Every single day we are here with the showdown of faith. Less talk and more power. Go ahead and tell a friend of yours about this program here on this platform, here on this TV channel. God bless you. Have a good one. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel, Showdown of Faith TV, and tune in Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. Eastern, to watch a show of less talk and more power that teaches you how to fight against your problems with life transformation stories, prayers for you and your family, and a word of faith. What are you waiting for? Subscribe today and don't miss any of our programs.